this statement about how Bert has 50% more coins than Claire. Oh, I have seen so many people translate that into algebra. Oh, what a mistake. Don't do that. Do not do that. Stick around and we'll see what we should do instead. All right, so for this problem, we're gonna start with a second statement because it gives us a range and a range won't allow me to answer. So not sufficient, eliminate B and D. The first statement is more complicated. It's saying something is 50% more than something else. Use the easiest numbers you can think of. So the bigger number will be 150, the smaller will be 100, right? 150 is 50% more than 100. So this ratio of 150 to 100 is a simplified model of reality. We don't know what the actual numbers are. We're using this model to make it simpler. But look, there's a common factor of 50 inside our ratio. Let's get rid of it. Let's reduce these numbers by 50 and we'll get a ratio of three to two. Those are the smallest integers that can describe this story. And the reason that's important is because we have an integer constraint. You see coins, can't be split into fractions. You can't have 3.72 coins. And so when you have a ratio describing something that has to be integers, and you're using the smallest integers that fit that ratio, then each of the true numbers, each of the actual numbers, has to be a multiple of the number that is representing it in your ratio. I go into the reasoning behind that rule in another video, which I'll link to in the description below. We can already tell that the actual number of coins that Bert has, has to be a multiple of three. Same idea goes for Claire. She has to have an even number of coins. And of course, together, they have to have a multiple of five. Now this on its own can't be sufficient because I don't know which multiple of five. So go ahead and eliminate A and we're down to two answer choices, C and E. All right, let's combine the statements now. How many multiples of five are there between 21 and 28? Just a one. This is sufficient to answer the question. Go ahead and pick C and move on to the next one. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.